guess what everybody i'm not in vegas today guess where i'm at burbank sports cards i'm super excited this is going to be a blast guys if you are a bargain boxer like me, this is the best shop in the world. The best shop I've ever been to, the Pinnacle. They have so many bargain boxes. It would take me days and days and days to go through them all and they're constantly refreshing them. They also have one of the biggest eBay stores in the world, not just for sports cards. If you've ever listed a low-end sports card and you've done sell similar, you might have used one of their listings. They have like 44 million cards in their store. I like that a lot. It's not worth anything, but I like it. I'm literally only gonna be here for a couple hours. I drove four hours from Vegas to get here. I'm just staying for a little bit and then I'm going back to Vegas four hours back. Do you remember the 90s? Wild time. Phone cards, they did autograph phone cards back in 1995. I love these. I think they're such a cool blast from the past. Maybe you could still use them. I don't know. I'm gonna pick this one up. There were several in here and I ended up buying quite a few. I didn't realize this as I was digging through the bargain boxes. I got a couple cards that might've been borderline and maybe I shouldn't have got if I knew this, but all the autographs and jersey cards were two dollars a piece in these boxes and all the other cards um, numbered or just base cards or cool insert cards were a dollar a piece there was a lot of autographs in these boxes it required me to do a little bit more research than i usually do when i go into these boxes one thing i look for on these hits and the press pass is numbered stuff that's numbered to, i think 250 so i picked that up earl everett played for florida i look for big colleges florida ohio state michigan iowa is really good when i see those schools and I don't know if the player is great or not. I'll look it up on eBay, see what the going price is. And a lot of these are actually worth getting. I'm gonna be throwing up eBay comps throughout this video and a lot of them will be surprising. I did not know who these players were in a lot of these cases. And I found out that the cards were definitely worth buying at a dollar and even $2. So, you know, if you want to learn how to bargain box, if you're into this, if you really are excited about it, literally go to a bargain box, pull out, you know, 10, 20 cards that look interesting to you and then just look them up one by one on eBay. It's a grind, but it's educational. And once you learn, it gets kind of lodged in your head and you know, oh, that's a good player. That's a good uh, brand. And then you'll start finding more of them. I'm from Utah. I went to the University of Utah. Chucky e. Keaton went to Utah State. I remember thinking he was going to be a big deal. I ended up getting this autograph. It's not worth that much. I'm just going to keep it. I'm a fan of cool and interesting looking cards and great looking autographs. Look at Kieran Henry's autograph. That's a good looking graph right there. And this insert is insane. I think it's from like 05. They uh, wore the old school helmets and then just like cut up the piece of ball they were holding. It's completely ridiculous and I'm so glad they did it. It's an awesome card. You don't see a lot of modern cards from Red Grange and this refractor from 2001 is gorgeous. I love this card. I thought it would be worth a little and it is. It should give me about five or six dollars shipped. Easton Stick is the backup quarterback for Justin Herbert and the Chargers. This is a prism, an optic prism rookie. It should give me about nine dollars shipped. You might not know this at first glance, but this is a Tony Gonzalez rookie card. Hall of Famer. Not a super high-end card, but I couldn't resist. Should get me about three dollars. Former West Virginia quarterback Jarrett Brown. They don't have a pro team, so I decided to give that one a try. It didn't really pan out in the NFL though. Here's a big school right here. University of Michigan, Jake Ryan. I get a card like this. I put it at buy it now, not auction, but buy it now. Let it sit until a fan comes along and wants to give me a good price for it. Patrick Kearney played 10 years in the NFL, two-time pro bowler. There's a Virginia Cavalier or a Falcon fan that would want this autograph. I'm picking it up. I picked this up because it was interesting. Canada football autograph. The lowest one on eBay right now is at 770. So we're going to test our luck and see how we do on it. I have a vivid memory of these Topps Stars cards as a teenager. I bought them, they were numbered. I thought they were all super valuable. I had this Fred Taylor card. I thought it was amazing. Gosh, the nostalgia. I love this set, it was a good idea. I think all the cards were numbered. Look at how amazing this insert is. Acetate, see-through, neon green, bright lights. Jamal Anderson, former Ute. I'm starting to collect Utah Ute stuff, a new collection. So I'm gonna pick that up. This Dave Kruger autograph for the University of Utah as well. This is a new um, PC that I'm doing. Chase Hansen, he was a wide receiver for the University of Utah. That's where I graduated. And then I'm also getting this Jamal Willis at BYU. I don't love BYU. I'm probably gonna try to sell this, but he was a legend. Great running back in the 90s for the BYU Cougars. Bowman Sterling was a great high-end set from the mid 2000s. I remember wanting to get packs of these and they were super expensive when I was in my early 20s. Drew Stanton was a big deal for a year or so. He was somebody people thought might pan out. He never did. This comic book style Drew Bledsoe is also really nice. The comic book like case hits in modern product are super, super popular. So that's a neat card right here. 
I ended up deciding to get this red Marcus Griffin, not this uh, Kiyonuka right here, but the red one, because the red autographs in this set, if I remember right, were short printed. I ended up buying this. I looked it up. I can't find anything on it. It doesn't seem like the red's getting that much more either when I looked it up, but I'm going to try it, see if I can make a few bucks on it. These are first day issue Top Stadium Club. The first day they did it, I think it was like 1,500 or something cards. They're not numbered on the back, but they are hard to find and they do okay. Mike Williams, Prism, all of them were silver this year, so it's nothing special, but still, decent card. Danny Dimes rated rookie. This is a bread and butter purchase. This should get me like three or four dollars shipped. And a Mitchell Trubisky optic rated rookie. This should get me like four to seven dollars shipped. Quarterbacks always get the premium. Even if you're young and fairly unproven, um, you're going to get some money. JJ Watt, score rookie, future Hall of Famer. Should get me like four dollars shipped. There is only one Ray Zeller's autograph card on eBay right now, and it's 25 dollars he played at a big school notre dame i'm gonna take a flyer on this at two and see how it does here's another big time college school university of michigan kevin coger i looked him up on ebay he had some autographs that did well so i'm gonna take a flyer on that i probably should have passed on this one but i didn't this is a cool card mark bolger number to three thousand rookie he was great for a few year period there in the mid 2000s Dwayne clemens played in the nfl for like nine years fairly low numbered rookie autograph and that hat he's wearing you find that at a garage sale that's worth some money right there the lows on ebay are like nine or so dollars and there's no recent solds so i'm gonna see how that does kyle mccarthy was a great safety for notre dame he doesn't have a lot of autographs out there should give me about six or seven bucks this is a jeff king virginia tech auto at the time i was thinking i was paying a dollar for this i still probably can make a little bit of a profit on it we'll see how i do tj edwards is good folks look out for him in the bargain boxes plays for the philadelphia eagles i should be able to get about 12 to 15 dollars on this troy drayton played several years in the nfl in the 1990s mostly for the rams and the miami dolphins rookie autograph numbered should be able to get like three to five dollars on that joe bowden doesn't have a lot of autographs available on ebay right now he was an all-american played most of the 90s he's a coach for the cowboys i think i can get like 10 bucks for this one of my top three sets of all time skybox autographics don't care if it's football baseball basketball I'm on the fence about these. I think I'm going to keep these. I think I'm going to start collecting Skybox autographics in the dollar bins. I want to do a whole set, so obviously there's going to be some that I'm going to have to buy individually. And to be honest, when I get the whole set, I'll probably just sell it. The fun is in the collecting, in the finding. Maybe I'll enjoy it for a little while, but more than likely I'll just sell it. Big time school, Alabama, John Parker Wilson. There's a couple available on eBay. The low's like $9. One sold super cheap, but I think I'll do well on that. Keep your eye out for Nate Burles and stuff. If you can get his stuff low enough, it could be a pickup, especially his autographs. He's on CBS this morning. He's won Emmys. He's having a great post NFL career. I'm picking this up because of the team and it's still in the plastic. This might've come in like a blaster box. I've forgotten. It's been a while, but I'm going to pick it up, see how it does. Chuck Wuma Okorafor is an offensive tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers right now this is a rookie auto they're all over the place but i'm gonna pick it up i think i can make a few bucks on it interesting story i typed in jeff janice auto in google and he actually owns a tire and auto place right now after his green bay career so i picked up his auto james stewart had a kind of underrated nfl career with jacksonville and the detroit lions i was gonna pick up this autograph cool prepaid card just had too much discoloring on the back so I just passed. I'm gonna mix it up and go to a baseball box, see if I can have some luck in here. I pulled out a bunch of cool 1980s baseball rookies. I'm a sucker for 80s baseball rookies. Willie McGee was so good for many, many years. People forget about him. Fortunately, his rookie's not really worth me picking up at a dollar. If it was like a quarter box, I would. Terry Francona, the um, manager for many years. A tops traded Will Clark rookie. I was on the fence about that. I my favorite Diamond King set of all time. I think this is 94. I love the art right there. Just an amazing looking card. Hall of Famer Larry Walker. I am going to pick up this rookie card. They're kind of all over the place, but at a buck, I should be able to make a profit. And Eric Davis, surprisingly, should probably let me make a few dollars as well. Great player. People forget how good Eric Davis was. And I was on the fence about the Will Clark. I'm going to be honest, but uh, that's just too cool. That's his true rookie, his traded rookie from 86. I'm getting it. I'm going to try a basketball box now. I'm going to try to come down to Burbank at least once a month so I can really dig in all of the boxes. There's so many. And find cool cards like this Jason Terry die cut rookie. Just so neat. He was a great player. Not really worth picking up, but I love that card. Back in the 1990s, I read Mitch Albom's book about the Fab Five. Jalen Rose, of course, part of that team. I wrote him through the mail, asked for an autograph, and he sent me back the card autographed. To this day, I love Jalen for doing that. That was such a cool thing to do for a kid, and I wish I still had it. Don't know what I did with it. 
but it was such a cool gesture. This was kind of a rough box. I honestly didn't find much. I did find a 1987-88 Terry Porter rookie. 1987-88, the year after Michael Jordan rookies. From what I understand, it was a set they produced less of. There's just no real great, great rookies in it. I would have picked this up. No brainer, I feel like. Get three or four bucks. I enjoy this card. But it had a big old ding on the corner. Rookies you can look out for in this set. Terry Porter, Detlef Shrimp, Brad Dowtry, Ron Harper. Lots of decent players, not big stars, but you'll find them and you can make a few dollars. I picked this up because it's some sort of error or something. Um, autograph card with no autograph. I don't know much about it. Not sure if it's worth anything. It's a cool novelty. If it's not worth anything, I'll keep it. Kind of weird. They had a little run of modern rookies right here. Kyle Trask may end up being the starter for the Bucks, him or Baker Mayfield. I'm going to post those and sell those as soon as possible. Micah Parsons. That's not a scratch. That's just the sleeve there in the top corner. Um, Prism rookie here. Of course, I'd rather have something silver, but I'll take that at a dollar a piece. Vaughn Miller. Great player, rookie card, tops platinum, good looking card. This is the football equivalent of first day issue. It's first day production. So the first day they made these cards for Top Stadium Club, they stamped them in the corner. I don't remember the number, like 1,500 or maybe a little bit more, um, but they're pretty cool. They should do decently. Even the commons can sell. Please forgive me for buying BYU stuff. I shouldn't be. <laughs> I like the Utes, but um, that's a Jamal Willis legend for you know anybody who grew up in Utah in the 90s. Another Dwayne Clemens autograph. Good looking autograph too. Here we go. Kevin Carter, great player in college and also played for the Jaguars. Pretty decent player, autographed, phone card. So weird. If nothing else, I can use it for a phone call, right? In two bucks? Yeah. Our Joshua Dobbs is still playing in the NFL, backing up, getting some time here and there. Remember, all the prisms are silver from this year, so it's not like a rare version, but that's worth picking up for a buck. I picked this Leonard Pope autograph up for a few reasons. It's numbered. He played for the Cardinals and Georgia. It's the red parallel. That's the colors for both of those teams. I think it's interesting. I I believe somebody would want to get that. Colt McCoy played a couple of games last year for the Arizona Cardinals. This is just such an amazing looking rookie card. Die cut X Fractor. Not super valuable, but I couldn't pass it up. And here we go. Another University of Utah player right here. Autograph going straight to the piece. There was a couple moments there as I was looking through the cards where I just felt like a pure kind of like euphoria and a pure joy. It's absolutely my happy place going through those boxes. It's just, I've talked about it before. It's kind of therapeutic. I love it. Ever since I was a little kid, guys. I mean, I love flipping stuff. You know, I have a garage sale channel, an eBay that sells other stuff. And you know, I sell a lot of cards. But ever since I was a little kid, I would organize my cards. I would sit, I would go through them. I remember every weekend, one weekend, I would organize my cards by team, right? And then the next weekend, for no reason other than I wanted to look at my cards, I organized my cards by, by set or by year. And I would do that all the time. I just love cards. There's something timeless about them for me. So I'm glad that I can show this channel, you know, and, and do this channel and show you guys a way you can make money hopefully doing what you love like me. I love cards. It's exactly what I want to be doing within the resale space, you know, heavily. I do everything, but cards is my jam. It's what I love. If you enjoy it too, guys, like and subscribe. I went to 702 Cards, guys, a couple days ago. I was going to put that video out first, but I'm going to put it out next because I was excited to show you uh, this Burbank video. But 702, the old dark side cards, you see that I haven't gone there lately. They were remodeling last week. I found some really good stuff. There was a couple cards there that were massive. It's gonna be a good video and I'm gonna go back again in a day or two. So we're gonna have a steady stream of, you know, legacy card shop Vegas videos, you know, dollar box digging and 702 and me going to as many shows and, you know, out of state as possible. I appreciate you all. Please like and subscribe.